Good day leaders. Today we're going to go over how to file a travel claim for those post to post movers that do not take leave. So here you're going to have a set of the orders travel claim for the travel claim and then the 1351 and we're going to go back and forth between the two to make sure that we are filling this out properly the first time based on the information that we have to support the documentation. So remember this is just a roll up of all the supporting documentation so all the dates and everything are going to come from this information that we have from their orders and flights. Um, so we're going to go one step at a time. Remember that everything here is found in the template toolbox so that way you can go back to it and use these templates in the future. Starting at the top with box one, this is the type of payment. Payment should always be checked for EFT. This is how they get direct deposited into their bank account by just getting a payment by check because no one's ever going to use that. Uh, here for the split disbursement, you do not have to put the amount in here. Dispersing can add that amount in there. That is the amount that they will pay to your government travel charge card, vice paying to the member. Um, and again, this could be left blank and dispersing can add it in. Or if you know how much that needs to go to the government travel charge card, you can add that amount in there at the end. Here is going to be the Marines information, last name, comma, first name, middle initial. Their grade as an E123, not corporal, Lance Corporal as of that in this format full social types of payment is going to be B, 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 pcs and member slash employee so this is what you're going to click for these by default and then here's just going to be the address to wherever you're going um and then here's the marines email address their current phone number and then we have the travel authorization so this is where we're going to go into the orders and then you're going to see the cic code down here which is what we are going to use to input here. So I'd make sure that that information is correct because that's what they're going to charge for this claim. Organization is going to show what debt they are at, McKessig Region 3, debt Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam, which is where this Marine was supposed to arrive to. So that makes sense. Um, the Marine did not get any advances. And since this is a wash standard, there is no dependence. So there is no dependence there. Here for dependents, it says unaccompanied. So you can see that there is no accompanied there. And then have has household goods been shipped? Yes, because this is when they do their shipment of stuff between posts, that's always gonna be yes. Now we're gonna get into the itinerary. So this is where things get a little tricky. So here, this is always gonna be the start year of the travel. So since this Marine started traveling in 2021, that's what we're going to put here. If this crosses multiple years, you will always start with this page, whatever the travel started on. So since the beginning of my orders is going to be here, 2021. The effective date is when this travel is going to start. And it says 28 July, 28 July, I left US Embassy in Moscow, Russia. Um, I know that because one, I know where my Marine came from, but also when we come down here, Moscow, Russia, to make sure that makes sense. As you see, I'm getting all this information from the documentation here. I'm not just making it up. Means of travel or modes of travel. So to find this information, you go to the second page. And here under the instructions is gonna have the different types. To kind of explain these a little bit better, T. So these are made up into two digit codes. As you saw up here, this says GA. So down here, it's broken up into two parts. First part is the type of payment, which is ticketed, T for ticketed, which means that you use the central line of accounting, which is what we usually do with the crosswalks um, for that. You have government, which is what we use when we go to Japan, if we take the Patriot Express, any type of government procured flight. We have the C, which is commercial transportation at own expense which would require reimbursement of some sort. So we would have that in the um, reimbursable expenses. You have privately owned, which is what the Marine owned themselves and what they used. So this is usually with vehicles. Commercial could be for a flight. Sometimes if they paid for the flight themselves, or if they used their government travel charge card, that's what they'll use. Or if this is if it's on a central line of accounting. So for example, this first one says GA which means the Marine took a government transportation automobile. That was the government vehicle done by the detachment. They took one of their, um, the debt vehicle, drove the Marine to the airport. So he went from the embassy to 
the airport. That's the first piece of travel. Now this Marine is on waiting transportation, AT. So now we have the reasons for stops. So these ones are not co combined. You, they already tell you what the two digit code is based on the scenario. So when you're awaiting transportation, since there's no leave, the entire time is gonna be awaiting transportation. Cause it's going from one spot to the next spot to the next spot until they get to that final location, which will be mission complete. But up here, as you see, awaiting transportation. Then he went to this airport. So to see that, now I'm gonna come down to the itinerary. So now I'm looking at this Marine's itinerary. I see on the 28th of July, 28th of July, you went to Moscow Sherman Airport, which is also right there, which is fully spelled, on the 28th, where he is awaiting transportation. Now he left this airport to go to Paris Airport via TP. So that information, you see, went from Moscow to Paris, as that's shown here, and got there on the 28th, same day. TP. So that is shown as ticketed, because they use the line of accounting, plane. P for plane. Perfect. So now that makes sense. Took a ticketed plane. And because it's a ticketed plane, there is no reimbursable expenses down here. If it was CP, then there should be a cost down here for that so it can be reimbursed. The Marines are waiting transportation again. On the 28th, he left uh, from Paris here on the 28th and went to Seoul. Seoul and Sean got there on the 29th. So if you see here, there's now a date change for that. Still it's TP. And then let's follow down here. And then on the 29th, that he left Seoul and then went to Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh on the 29th. Well, now we have this GA again. So from the airport on the 29th, they were picked up by a government automobile. So the debt picked him up from the airport and then brought him to the embassy where the last part of this travel shows mission complete. That ends the itinerary for this Marine. So that was pretty simple. Down here under box 16. So if there's ever anything in here, you always check it passenger unless the Marine used their own personal items for something. So if you ever see a PA in here, which means personal automobile and they drove their own personal automobile, that's what they will use to get reimbursed mileage for that or reimburse the use of their personal um, travel. Um, then we're gonna come to 17, duration of travel. How long was this? So this is where things get a little tricky. So to ensure we're calculating this correctly, you start with the effective date and time. So at 08 on July 28th is when his travel started. Now his travel stopped upon his reporting endorsement, which you will see here, 29th, which makes sense here because this is when he arrived, at 2330. So for that, if this, if this is more than 12, 24, 24. So since this is over 24 hours, because 08 on the 28th to 08 on the 29th would have been 24 hours. But since we are dealing with international date um, lines and also different time zones, this time could be adjusted or may be adjusted um, based off of that. But looking at this itinerary, what it does not show is duration of flight. So usually these flights would say that this flight from here to here is approximately so many hours. And then you could look at how many hours this is, so on and so forth. But knowing that the Marine started at 08, and didn't make a flight for eight hours. I already know that's eight hours there, plus the amount of time that it takes to fly across the world from Paris to Seoul and then Seoul down to Ho Chi Minh. I can guarantee this was over 24 hours by adding up all those times to include the different time zones. So this is why it's more than 24. But if it was more than 12 or in less than 24, you would click this button. And then if it was 12 hours or less, you would click that, which does happen between posts. Um, depending on which regions they're going between for that information. Okay, so we have that. Here under the claimant signature, the Marine will sign and date. The reviewer will be done by the region. So this is for the region to fill out after they review the travel come to make sure it's good. 
and then they will submit this in DTMS to dispersing for um, proper payment. So as we've gone over, that concludes today's demonstration of how to fill out a travel claim for post to post without leave.